is Dr. Magarelli, CNY Fertility, Colorado. Welcome aboard. Uh, happy Tuesday. Um, today we're going to do a question and answer, um, mostly because there are so many wonderful things happening, and I figure people have lots of questions. Also, for you folks who are on Facebook Live or um, YouTube Live, uh, we have one of our uh, uh Integrative Medicine Practices, uh, East Winds Acupuncture is having a uh, Best of the Springs um, competition for the city. And uh, so if you guys can scan the um, barcode on the image on the Facebook screen there, you can vote for Dr. Diane Credenda, Dr. Stephanie King. There are acupuncturists here who work pretty much 24-7 to help all of our global travel folks to come to uh, get acupuncture when they come to Colorado Springs. So let's do a shout out. Um, you can also visit the best of the springs, uh, dot com And that's, um, this is in Colorado Springs. And every year they vote for the best uh, family and healthcare providers, et cetera. And uh, integrative medicine is a big part of what we do here. Uh, and so if you guys wouldn't mind, uh, just go to the best of the springs.com. And uh, thank you, Melissa. Yeah, she said she did my acupuncture and she's phenomenal. I should do a disclosure. She's also my wife, but um, and Dr. King is my friend. But to be honest with you, they're phenomenal acupuncturists in their own right. So if you don't mind, uh, oh, yeah, it's very easy to click and vote for them and it may be meaningful for them. Uh, see, we have lots of people jumping in on the uh, Instagram. We've got about 31 people, 20 people jumping in here uh, on the uh on the Facebook Live, on the StreamYard here. So if you guys would like, uh, we can uh, do some conversations about uh, uh, questions, if you have any, uh, that I can answer for you. Uh, we're going to be doing a Q&A. Hello, Courtney. Good to see you. Maritza, you saw Dr. King and she was great. Yeah, so folks, if you do come to Colorado, or you know you're coming to Colorado for your uh, care, fertility care, why don't you, uh, it would be best if you contact the East Winds Acupuncture ahead of time and they can help set up for your appointments for your pre and post transfers. And if you're here for an extended period of time, they can also help with the uh, Grenenda Magarelli Acupuncture Protocol. Um, okay, so uh, hello, Delarine, nice to see you. Again, Courtney, hello. Trusting, trusting the journey, that's a good idea. Hi, AJ Faridi, good to see you. I missed a question, so if you guys want to throw the questions back, that would be great. I noticed my voice is going a little bit here, so hang for a sec. Hello, everybody. Nobody's asking any questions. Um, the goal today is really to uh, help you understand what's going on with fertility. I noticed Dr. Uh, 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 Kiltz did a little TikTok about... Um, a new study that came out showing that uh, it is far more important for folks who are trying to get pregnant and who are, are pregnant to get the vaccine um, than those who do not. In other words, the outcomes are poor for people who are unvaccinated for both the mom and the baby. So Courtney, I was sent the protocol for acupuncture for transfer from your wife for a local acupuncturist to help since I am in Montana. And it shows the needles go in your back and leg. Is that correct? Yes, that is correct. How do I feel about InvoCell? I have no feelings about it at all. If you have endometriosis and have had a laparoscopy surgery, it is nothing, well, what's it? And it's nothing to treat surgery. What meds then would be best? So anyone with acupuncture, uh, I'm sorry, with endometriosis, um, there is no uh, protocol for you. That's you, you do it based on your AMH. Um, is acupuncture helpful? Absolutely. I've written most of the papers with Dr. Credenda in the world's literature on acupuncture that have been used and our protocol is used around the world. For couples traveling for IVF, about how many times should we plan to travel to the clinic? Well, if you're doing a fresh transfer once, if you're doing a frozen transfer twice. Does it make a difference to do genetic tests before IVF? Yes, if you're looking for a boy or a girl or if you have a genetic problem, then absolutely. Uh, the question about InvoCell is just a uh, substitute for uh, an IVF laboratory where we use the woman's vagina to culture the uh, embryos. I don't particularly think that's the most efficacious way since their fees for the InvoCell are much higher than our fees for 
general IVF and the numbers of eggs and the number of embryos that you get are significantly more with basic IVF. So I'm a strong proponent of basic IVF if it's priced correctly. <clears throat> Is it safe to continue east in with your acupuncture post-transfer? Uh, actually, Courtney, they're not going to do east in. They're going to have very specific points uh, to hold. It's called the uh, holding points for fertility, and I do not believe they're east in. Uh, Alyssa, I just wanted to say thank you. You did our successful transfer. Elvira, <laughs> okay. We are 14 weeks pregnant and a baby girl. See, I told you I'm pretty good at guessing, huh? The acupuncture at East Winds was great. Thank you so much. And again, folks, um, I have a little thing up here on the uh, Facebook uh, tube. You can scan that little code. Vote for uh, uh, our uh, sister practice, eastwindsacupuncture.com under under uh, the family and health. And you could also just go to the best of the springs, as in coloradosprings.com, and vote for East Winds Acupuncture. So, Tricia, I had a miscarriage, so now trying to get better, eh, quality. Only I had one blast last time, but I had 10 eggs. I'm 43. That's fantastic. I can't afford to test. What's the likelihood that it will happen again? Um, well, what you're asking is, what's the chance in a 43-year-old for a chromosomally normal embryo? It's about 10%. So it's, 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 oh, thank you, Maritza. That was, oh, Christina, thank you for voting. That's very sweet of you guys. But yeah, Tricia, but again, it's one egg, one embryo, one baby. So again, do the best you can there. Thank you so much, Maritza and Christina, for voting for that. Okay, for women with PCOS, why is fresh transfer discouraged? Well, because women with PCOS tend to have elevated F, um, estrogens. Elevated estrogens causes the lining in the uterus to overgrow. An overgrown uh, overgrowth in the lining makes it harder for the uh, embryo to implant. So by separating the retrieval from the transfer, then you can get a much better implantation. You know, And so that's been shown over and over again. Actually, um, Bruce Shapiro out of Nevada did a lot of that research. Melissa, it was cool to meet you last month. You've helped find my eggs. Send baby dust to everyone. Good, thank you, Melissa. Thank you guys for voting. Um, you're very welcome. Um, let's see. We already answered that. Not a lot of questions today. Everybody's just saying hi and hi to each other, waving. I appreciate it. I have a pretty awful cramp day six after FET. Can that be normal? It can be, Jenny, but make sure you increase your fluids. Increase your fluids. Chloe's baby journey. Thank you, Dr. Mag. You did my transfer this week, and I'm testing positive. Oh my God. I have seen your pretty face on this thing. Everybody send congratulations um, to dear. Chloe's baby journey. Um, so if you have endometriosis and fail a frozen embryo transfer and normal PGT embryos, added Lovenox program boosts, and what should I do differently? Do an endometrial receptivity assay. Do acupuncture, of course. Uh, that's That reduces miscarriages. So those are two things. Avoid uh, carbs. Can letrozole um, cause premature LH surge in women with uh, diminished ovarian reserve? Um, letrozole causing premature, not mm, possibly, not 100% sure. Uh, no, Jenny, it doesn't mean failure. Frozen or fresh transfer, and in reality, it just depends on the circumstances. Um, uh, I had a poor response to mini stim, but the levels are normal for my age, and only known fertility issues too. Ligation, can I expect a poor response? No, 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 Tori, I'm not quite sure why you did a mini stim. You should do traditional mini stims or for people over 40 with low ovarian reserve. I had a follicle scan yesterday on nine and have nine follicles measuring 15 to 20, but the E2 is 500. I am set to finish stims today and dual trigger tonight. I have a low AMH. Is the C2 level okay for trigger tonight? Well, it has to do with the size of the follicles. It's not necessarily the estrogen. Can you have a fresh transfer after a duo stim? Duo stim, fresh transfer. No, absolutely not. Um, our le uh, let's see. Is there any way to contact East Winds Acupuncture to discuss the protocols? Courtney, of course. 719-520-5054. Um, uh, That's 719-520-5056. Eugenia, waiting cycle to start receptivia, diagnosis, and ERA testing. Any tips to prepare? No, just do what you normally would do. Good diet, avoid alcohol, tobacco, drugs. 
Um, I was able to transfer the month after retrieval with PGT testing. That is true. Good. Oh, wow. That's pretty good. Um, started Omnitrope. Should I stay on Ciro Vital? Yes. Uh, Omnitrope and Ciro Vital are complementary. CareShine. On day four of transfer meds, does anyone else get awfully sick on them? I am so nauseous and tired and achy. Transfer meds. So that's estrogen on day four. So that's just high levels of estrogen. And yes, you can get nauseous with that. Um, are you less likely to get pregnant if your LH surge is on day 25? No, as long as you time it correctly. Um, I have my first consultation in Colorado in April. I am a carrier of Fragile X. So we'll be wanting genetic testing to prevent passing the gene. Do I need to be working with someone else outside of c line to prepare or speed up the process? Like for probe making? Well, we work with... Um, uh, uh, Cooper Genomics. So you might want to contact Cooper Genomics and tell them that you're planning to do that. Uh, Sam, modified natural transfer, uh, PGT tested embryo, no trigger. Should I do the ACG wash or keep it as natural as possible to past pregnancies, low AMH? Um, no, I don't think there's, I, I think you certainly can do the ACG wash. What is the best time to be on Omnitro prior to the egg retrieval? Usually the month before. How well does Zymite help me with male factor infertility? It does not. It's not designed to do that. You, oh, okay. Thank you, Jenny. Um, should I do IVF or IUI with endometrial stage two? Well, uh, that's a, a, a hope 143. It depends on how old you are and your history. Uh, with low vitamin D, how many milligrams should I take a day with, and CoQ10? Well, you want to get, if you have low, low vitamin D, I recommend at least 5,000 international units a day. I forget what their translation for that is. Um, uh, I think that's a good number. Um, and then CoQ10, I don't have a particular amount. I think if you look at our uh, website, we have all of that in our family building guide. Um, anyway, for all you new folks, I uh, just want to remind you, uh, we're, tonight we're trying to support East Winds Acupuncture, which is the acupuncturists that work with us here in Colorado Springs. They're up for the um, uh, best of the of the springs. So there, you can either scan that little QR code there on uh, Facebook and YouTube, or what you can do is go to thebestofthesprings.com and under family and health and vote for East Winds Acupuncture. Uh, wish until you're cured from COVID-19. I don't know. I'm sorry. I missed that. If you have low AMH, would you suggest PGTA testing or just implants? Implant. Wait. Well, how long you should wait? Wait until you're cured. One month. One month. Any That's uh, after COVID. Any advice for someone starting their first IVF cycle, five failed IUIs and one blooded ovum? Uh, well, uh, please read our family building guide. Please start your acupuncture sooner than later. Please start Ciro Vital, which you can pick up at Costco or online. That's S-E-R-O-V-I-T-A-L.com. Um, okay. Uh, thank you. Um, I was out of immune protocol two, but I do not understand what is the difference between protocol two and the other ones. I was out on Hmm, not quite sure of the question. I'm 35 and had six failed IUIs and one miscarriage. Don't explain it fully. Should I start IVF? Yes. And do I recommend ICSI? Yes. And do I recommend embryo testing? One miscarriage is not likely. My husband's sperm is good. No male factor. Uh, my initial consult, I was asked to take myonositol, but I do not have PCOS. How many micrograms is recommended? You can look that up in our family building guide. I don't have that memorized. If my iron levels are back to normal after four weeks of supplements, I'm almost eight weeks pregnant. Should I continue iron? Talk to your OBGYN, please, and definitely take a, uh, a prenatal vitamin. I'm using a GC for my eggs, husband's sperm. What would you recommend, a fresh or frozen transfer? Uh, Valerie, um, uh, fresh is fine, yes, because she will not be in any, any way disturbed. Are you doing transfers in, in Saturday? Are you doing doing transfers this Saturday? Um, Amazon. Okay. Uh, are you doing transfers, Mary? I'm not quite sure your question. Uh, we do transfers on Saturday. Uh, we do if they're fresh um, and they fall on that day. Um, what are the requirements for transferring two embryos? We don't recommend that. Um, uh, you have to have at least failed with one 
Um, maybe uh, that might be a reason, but honestly, um, uh, yeah, it's hard to say. I will be doing uh, having a retrieval color on Monday or Tuesday. Well, I'll be doing the retrievals on Tuesday. I do two retrievals on Tuesdays and Thursdays and transfers Monday, Wednesday, Fridays. And Dr. Fink does retrievals Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. Um, hello, Three Journey through IVF. Good to see you. I know who you are. Any thoughts on auto injector for PIO if, if, if have trouble to self-administer? Don't know anything about that. That's an interesting question. Is there anything you can recommend for women who have hypothyroidism? Yes. Oh my gosh. Uh, will this up my chances? Well, Bethany Landers, you just um, <laughs> you just have to um, make sure that your thyroid hormones are are, are normal. All right, the journey through IVF. I'll see you tomorrow. Um, um, have an AMH of 3.4, stemmed 300 gone left, but canceled retrieval after all, all follicles but one. Didn't have new protocols, Metapure 75, 150 gone left, let's roll, will it work? Um, well, that's not, that's going down. You're going down in, in medications. You're not going up in medications. So I'm not sure why they went down. Do you have an option of twins or triplets? Absolutely not. I took zero vital and made my period irregular. Is this normal? Hmm, I'd be surprised if it did. If it, I've not heard of that. No, I've not heard of that. What are the common side effects experienced while taking the stimulation phase? Mostly bloating, I think, and uh, vaginal discharge. Uh, I'll be there next week for egg retrieval. Unicorn or uterus with one or so hoping for the best. Absolutely, Taylor. Uh, Mary, please, Dr. Magra, be nice with us in this process. Empathy, that's what we need. So, Mary, um, this is the same person last week. Um, I'm not quite sure what your question is. So please ask a question if you have one. Um, hmm. Yeah, I'm not, I'm, I'm not quite sure what your question is, Mary. Um, is HCG booster shots good to use before and after embryo transfer? Well, my theory about HCG booster shots is that they really, a good progesterone is really what you want. And that's what HCG boosters do is improve your progesterone secretion. Um, Dallas Journey Anthony, Dallas Jordan Anthony, the going genetic testing, do you get to choose the gender? Yes, you may. Uh, send baby dust to everybody here. Uh, Delarine, I'm on day three of STEM, started low dose HCG. If I'm already on HCG pregnant, what will I trigger with? Lupron, you'll trigger, okay, if I'm already on HCG. Low dose HCG. No, that's LH. That's L. You 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 can trigger with both um, HCG and LH. You could do a double trigger, Darlene. I think we're using not the HCG part, the LH part to get you the stim, but that's extraordinarily low. Um, hello, everybody. Mama BG and Facing Destiny and Sokan Fakasi. Um, Lydia, I was told to set up care with an OB once discharged from CY this coming Thursday. How should I, should I schedule for ASAP? Oh, I love the little kisses. How big do you guys like to see all the follicles before triggering? Uh, certainly above 18. You're very welcome. Um, Dallas, Jordan, Anthony. Um, uh, da, 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 da. Okay. And he's suggesting to increase the quality of embryos. Well, you got to have a healthy egg and a healthy sperm. So you know, you, nutrition, um, avoiding alcohol, tobacco, drugs, zero vital for both partners, the sperm provider and the egg provider and the uterus provider. Uh, if you're above 35, you might need growth hormone, definitely acupuncture. These are all things that are cumulative to creating a healthy body and make it a fertile body. Okay. Anybody on Facebook here? Um, I've got the little poster up there, the QR code. We want everybody to vote for East Winds Acupuncture, who's our acupuncturist here, pretty much that takes care of you guys when you come and will help any of your acupuncturists around the world. Dr. Credenda is the one who created the Credenda Magarelli Acupuncture Protocol. She's at East Winds Acupuncture. They're doing the best of the springs here. It's kind of important for our community. So if you guys wouldn't mind, uh, just go to thebestofthesprings.com. Uh, do you do virtual visits? Yes, I do. Is drinking coffee okay during the stim phase? Yeah, one one cup. 
Uh, Chloe's baby journey. East winds is amazing. I agree. Um, uh, Salaya Salas. Hi, Dr. Mag. Can't do ACG for trigger because my E2 is 4,700. So you want to use Lupron. The last cycle was similar. I have pituitary damage. Could this be the issue with maturation, meaning that my pituitary isn't supplying sufficient LH uh, from the Lupron? No, I don't think so. You're you're getting fantastic response to growth. So I don't think so, Salas. Is acupuncture recommended for men too, or is it provided to the women? Well, all of the studies, Megan, that I did was were done with women, but there are 4,000 studies where acupuncture helps males. So guys, uh, please, if you're online here, remember 50% of our success is the guys. Does Omnitrope ACG produce mature eggs? And is it having lots of immature eggs indicative of low egg quality? My AMH is 1.9. Rashita, no, I think you may want to grow your, your follicles an extra day or two. I think that's the reason for immatures. How soon after initial consultation with testing begin? Usually within four to six weeks. Uh, do you recommend immune medication during STEM? I have an autoimmune disease and I have poor IVF outcomes. Yes, for whatever it is you need, uh, uh, Kamar Hussein. Mom and Black Queen, 1908, how can I keep my uterus warm after transfer. I know warmth increases blood flow. You ask your acupuncturist about that, but avoid cold fluids and don't expose the midriff. Um, I know that my wife talks about that a lot. Thoughts on transferring two embryos after miscarriage at eight weeks. All embryos are untested. Thank you in advance. Elaine, again, folks, uh, adding more embryos could prov increase your risk of a miscarriage too. So if you have a history of miscarriages, you really don't want to put in more than one embryo. What you really want to do is work on what are the issues causing the miscarriage. How long do I have to stay in Colorado if I'm coming from Hawaii? Well, if you're coming for a retrieval and a transfer and you're doing the whole thing, it's about 20 days. If you're just coming for a retrieval, of course, five days or three days. And then if you're coming for a transfer, two days or three days. Okay. I hear you guys say inflammation is the leading cause of infertility. Progesterone suppository caused me a lot of inflammation. Is this doing more harm than good? So inflammation that you're talking, uh, Journey to our Rainbow, is local. In other words, the skin. So it may be an allergic reaction. Inflammation we're talking about is systemic inflammation, um, oxidative radicals. These are the things that are detrimental in all of health and, and disease and in disease. So our inflammation and your inflammation are different. Now, you should not be irritated with the, um, the suppositories. If you are, switch to injectable. Can implantation ha happen after day five of frozen embryos transfer? Mm, that's a little late. Um, journey to baby. I have low AMH. What will be the medication protocol? I had three miscarriages. Well, you have to tell me how old you are, journey to baby. Uh, da, 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 da. What's going on here on the Facebook side? You guys are quiet over here. No questions at all. Anybody have any questions here? I'm not getting any more questions here. It looks quiet there on the Facebook and the YouTube on the YouTube side. Uh, can implant it? You already answered that question. Somebody say hi on the Facebook and YouTube side. I don't see anything moving there. I still don't see anything moving there. Can anyone request intralipids? Yes. So 30 years old, and you forget your question, 30-year-old. Uh, I would use a standard protocol for you. I would not use the mini uh, at 30 years of age. Okay. Hi. Thank you, Rashita. Hi. Angie, Angie Cook, low fertilization, what is the cause? Well, sperm issue. Uh, thank you, Valerie. Hi, Melissa. Hi. Appreciate it. Holly, um, if my period does not come this month, can I start my meds or what would I need to do? Well, Holly, if it doesn't come, please contact our nurses and they'll be giving you some medicine to start your period, okay? You usually get a baseline with ultrasound and then that sort of stuff. Salas, you're very welcome. All right. So what are the new things that are going on? Um, yeah, I'm really getting interested in uh, duo stim for folks with low ovarian reserve and folks above the age of 40. I'm thinking that duo stim, uh, CNY's um, 
uh, fast start pro fast track program. Uh, we're, we're, I'm really thinking that that may be very helpful. So stay tuned. Shane Crockett. Uh, oh, wait a second, Lauren. I have a, my first transfer tomorrow. I'm 39 and have one embryo. Would you recommend a steroid post transfer just in case or anything else? Well, you should have a whole list of things, Lauren. Um, if you're at CNY here. Um, of that you should be taking uh, acupuncture, serovital, um, uh, Lovenox, baby aspirin, low dose naltrexone, intralipids, HCG boosters, lots of stuff. Um, so I'm not quite sure what you mean by anything else. Shane, I'm 24 and have three miscarriages and one ectopic. They were all very early. I have a consult in February and hoping in to start IVF soon. All my recurrent miscarriages have been normal. Could my miscarriage just be bad A quality? Um, yeah, that's, that's an arbitrary term, A quality. So um, you should find out why you're having it. There's got to be, uh, do a recurrent pregnancy loss profile, get the chromosomes for you and your husband. Um, um, yeah, I would do that before I think A quality. How many days is the average length of a cycle? Uh, a stimulation cycle is 11 days. Um, and does it get longer with age? Not necessarily. I'm not talking about, I, I don't know if, if you're C -marts, uh, if you're talking about a menstrual cycle or, your, or an IVF cycle. We did the recurrent pregnancy loss panel and everything was normal. And your chromosomes were normal, Shane. Uh, acupuncture, uh, I would look and get a laparoscopy to see if you have endometriosis. Uh, would go on low carb eating, acupuncture, avoid anybody who smokes, etc. Um, 36 year old going for last transfer in April. My last transfer worked, but lost the baby at eight weeks. What can I do different to ensure success? Well, acupuncture, zero vital, um, uh, keto approach. Uh, it, it has to do with the quality of the embryo, too. Is there a reason why the HSG cannot be done at uh, day 12? Yes. Because it's it, the information is it's hard to interpret the information because the lining is too thick. That's the reason. With PCOS, should I do a fresh or frozen? Absolutely uh, frozen. Uh, Stephanie, would a C-section niche need to be repaired for before doing IVF? No, not I've, I've not ever heard of that. And there's no real repair for the C-section uh, little out pooching. <clears throat> okay, what do we got? IVF at age 45 is possible. Yes, Lake Shore, Ro. Dallas Journey, Jordan Anthony. Do you know anything about a trachea and a, a tree, trachea astresia? I lost my baby because of this. No, I'm not. I, I don't know anything about that. I'm sorry. How thick is too thick for the lining? Actually, there's no number that is considered too thick uh, according to most of the studies. But, you know, if it is a 25 or 30, you might, we might want to figure that out. Uh, can you still be an egg donor if you've had multiple early miscarriages? Uh, not likely. Not likely. I think that might be a, but again, I don't know the donor program. Everybody has their own rules. Mama, uh, Black Queen, I'm 43. My frozen embryo transfer is tomorrow. What can I do to increase successful implantation and care for myself? Well, it's one day before. Uh, that's not sure what you could do, but avoid alcohol, tobacco, drugs. Make sure you're doing low carb. Do acupuncture. How long do you recommend waiting for retrieval after a myomectomy? At least six weeks. Looking to do my first IVF cycle, uh, my first IVF next cycle. Should I do fresh or frozen transfer with unexplained private party O5? Well, um, if you have PCOS, then do frozen. Otherwise, fresh should work. Um, all righty. I had a miscarriage in November with one fallopian tube. Can I get pregnant with it? Sure, with one fallopian tube, absolutely you can. All righty. It's a quiet day. Not a lot of questions today. Okay, Darlene, it has been a long journey with Carlotta Springs office. Just wanted to say thanks to each and every one of you for hard work. You're all awesome. Looking forward for my next retrieval and transfer in the coming week. Well, I'm looking forward for you to be successful. <laughs> okay. What causes endometritis, which is inflammation of the uterus? Inflammation of the uterus can be caused by a bacterial infection, by irritation, by a variety of things. 
So it's just part of the process of uh, reproduction and there are treatments for it, like, like um, uh, antibiotics. Does taking orlista before a frozen embryo transfer, does that really help with endometriosis? Yes. What is the wait time to get into CNY? Uh, just call and get on our cancellation list. Do you know when the ACG trigger shot is? Uh, that's based on your follicles and what's growing. And uh, uh, so it's timed to a certain time in the cycle. How long can you be on Omnitrope? I don't think there's a, an absolute length, but you want to be on it for at least 30 days, if not 60 or 90. Uh, should I refrain from taking at-home pregnancy tests on day six after frozen embryo transfer? Absolutely. Please refrain. Can you speak a bit more on Duostim, for, uh, especially for those who are 40 plus? Yes, Brandy. Duostim is where we can actually, we have found now, and I've done a lot of uh, review of the literature, that um, you can get two full retrievals per 30 days from a human. Uh, cows, you can get uh, three full retrievals for about 40 days. But for humans, you can get two full retrievals, which means you can get about twice the number of eggs that you uh, per 30 days and making a baby is all about eggs so what you do is you stimulate retrieve the eggs wait a, a short period of time then you re-stimulate retrieve the eggs and now you have more eggs more embryos more blastocysts so that's how it works um, the nice thing about it is that it's a shorter time to get more eggs uh, can you take serial vital and nonotrope at the same time absolutely i think i answered that why is frozen transfer better for uh, for PCOS men, women? I, I answered that too. I must be going backwards here. Yeah, the uh, it's because of the estrogen in PCOS women uh, is associated with overgrowth of the uterine lining, and that can cause a decrease in um, in, in pregnancy rates. Uh, the question is: Is Fomara the same as Letrozole? Yes, it's exactly the same. I'm going to put my face back on here. Alrighty. Okay. During uh, stims for retrieval, what are you looking for in the blood test? Uh, growth. What is the treatment for blocked fallopian tubes? IVF. When should you start and how often should you do a quip? I don't know what a QIP is. Uh, when can you try again when you met after a miscarriage? Four to six weeks. My transfer is in about a week and a half. What can I do to increase my chances? Well, acupuncture, uh, zero vital, uh, avoid alcohol, tobacco, drugs, low, low carb. Those are the things you can do in the short term. How long do you have to wait after getting a C-section for another baby? You know, well, you're going to breastfeed for 12 months, so approximately 12 to 18 months. I am traveling to CNY from abroad. What blood tests are required for monitoring? Love Life 830. Well, just go to our website and download our family building guide from the cnyfertility.com website resource page. Download that. It lists all the tests that are necessary. Give that to your doc. I would be happy to use that information. Can you explain frozen uh, transfer process a little, please? This will be my first IVF cycle, Megan. Well, frozen is just you. Uh, embryo transfer is 17 days of estrogen, six days of progesterone, the last six days of the estrogen um, with progesterone, and then you place the embryo inside. And uh, so that's basically it. The difference between that and fresh is fresh. You've already been prepared with the retrieval process with the estrogen, whereas with frozen, you have to add the estrogen to help you get there. Um, when preparing for an F FET after a lap histo, uh, when should someone get an HSG before or after the surgery? Well, if you had a, a hysteroscopy, I'm not sure you need an HSG. Is estrogen level of 88 of LH peak low? Yeah, it seems low. Um, have you done a Facebook Live on Zymot? Um, yeah, I think I did. Uh, but I now have some more information about it too. Can you have a successful pregnancy with polyps in the uterus? No. How long is the wait to get into C a CNY? Not sure. It's probably a two or three months, but get on there get on the system, and then get on our, our, uh, our, our cancellation list. Is, um, two failed transfers, one fresh and one frozen. Should I try again? Helium candy, yes. Uh, even a 20-year-old takes three IVF cycles to make a baby, so you're fine. Um, 
taking karma care of mamas. Sangurusha. Hello. Okay, Angela. Suggested protocol for a 34-year-old, uh, five filled IUIs, don't have regular cycles, uh, problems with the sperm, two successful pregnancies 16 years ago with former husband, doing kills keto with the exception of keto yogurt and some snack cheeses. Take this. Yes. Acupuncture, Angela. Acupuncture. You're doing the low carb. You're doing the uh, add zero vital. Um, uh, S e r o v i t a l. It's a it's a it's a compound you can get online or you can get it at Costco. Uh, avoid anyone alcohol, tobacco, drugs, and smoking. Avoid smokers. Um, sleep well. Rest well. At age 35, do you recommend the full IVF or mini? Typically, Valerie, I recommend the full IVF. Then uh, talks about this. The mini is really for those who don't have many eggs. Do you recommend vitamin E and melatonin? I do recommend vitamin E, not so much melatonin. I, I just don't. I know there's some data about that, but you know, not necessarily. Well, a whole bunch of nice people have joined. Thank you for joining. Uh, we're doing a little uh, vote here. If you go to Facebook Live or uh, uh, YouTube Live, we're voting on the best of springs. This is a thing done in uh, Colorado. Uh, we, uh, we work with eastwindsacupuncture.com, uh, Dr. Credenda, Dr. King, and we're helping them win the best of the Colorado Springs. So if you guys go there and scan the QR code, believe me, if you're going to come out to see me here in Colorado, you'll probably be helped by them. So let's help them and give them a help. Hi, doctor. I need your advice. Uh, so I have been on stims, but my follicles are growing slowly. Uh, they want to cancel the cycle. What do you think? I'm 40. Well, uh, all things health. The reason they're canceling your cycle is if you, if it's been um, uh, how many days on stim uh, have you been? Maybe that's a better question. So, do they check if the tubes are cleared during a laparoscopy, hysteroscopy, or not at CNY? No, they don't. They can check the tubes during a laparoscopy. Laparoscopy, Catherine. Uh, all things healthy, eight millimeters for three of the follicles, but how many days of stimulation? Maybe I missed it, but how many days of stimulation? Uh, Monica, age 32, tube ligation, three live births, full IVF. Uh, full IVF, yes. You're welcome. 14 days. Yeah, the reason they're canceling is they haven't caught the wave. So you got to think about things that we can do to maybe enhance catching the wave next time. Uh, you may want to go to, uh, it sounds like we're we're dealing with um, a low ovarian reserve issue. You may want to see if your acupuncturist will do herbs, if they know how to do that. Um, would a natural modified cycle work for a 43-year-old? Sure. Okay. We're rocking. Good questions, everybody. Hope everybody's doing well here. Okay. Am I doing retrievals this Friday? Camille, no, but you want me to do it? Just ask Dr. Fink if I can do it. <laughs> it's that simple. Yeah, it might be my pleasure. Do you know at the retrieval whether the body is okay for a fresh trench or do you know five days later? No, at the time of the retrieval, we should know whether or not uh, you should be ready. And you should also be thinking whether you want a fresh or frozen. If women only have facial hair but no other symptoms of PCOS, would you diagnose her with PCOS? Love Life 830. I do a lot more than that. I look at her past medical history. I look at her androgen levels. I would look at um, her ovaries, a lot more than just hair. Do you recommend the pause and workout routine the week of retrieval? Yes. And the week of transfer? Yes. Jenny, natural cycle here before FET. I'm only on progesterone. Is that correct? Well, you said a natural cycle wouldn't have you on anything, right? That's why you chose it. That's what it means, a natural cycle. Is there data to support the efficacy of IM progesterone versus oral? Yes. Every, Anita, every single study has always shown the um, progesterone IM is superior or everybody wants to be as good as the progesterone IM with the oral or vaginal. Um, hello, Laquila, Reed, Matoya, hi, good to see you. See you, Catherine. Should I uh, should someone stop taking DHEA before? And if you stop taking DHEA, is because it's an androgen, and if you have a girl, that's not necessarily a good idea. Mark Kuchipo photo. Mark 
you CC photo. Okay, what is the question? Hi, Dr. Mag. I was just diagnosed with chronic endometritis, different from that. Yeah, I know that. Before IVF, FET. Any advice? Yes, get it treated. Uh, it's with the antibiotics. Looking for acupuncture near me? Is there any specific? Yes. Uh, this is for all you folks who are looking for an acupuncturist who's been trained by me and Dr. Credenda. There's about a thousand of them out there. Go to the website, www.aborm.org. So American Board of Oriental Reproductive Medicine. These are board certified as specialists in acupuncture for fertility, specifically fertility with IVF. So no matter where you live, there's a little map, put your address in. And if you can't find one that's trained, then Dr. Credenda, East Winds Acupuncture, who we're supporting this week, um, um, she will be happy to give them the protocol. Lucrila, I'm 40. I, I, um, how many embryos do you suggest they are untested? Two, if you're 41. Uh, if it's your first time, uh, if it's day three, if it's day five, then I would just recommend, or blastocyst, then I would recommend one. Um, would natural modified be better if you have endometriosis? It has nothing to do with endometriosis. Um, I don't, that Those are not related, uh, J and B makeup. Yeah, those are not related. Endometriosis doesn't affect which one. Weird. They put me on quinone, progesterone, no estradiol. I'm also on heparin. I'm not quite sure what your question is, Jenny. I uh, got lost in there. Hi, can a hysteroscopy polypectomy be done anytime during my cycle? It's best done during the first uh, 12 to days of the cycle. Uh, uh, Desiree, hello. Uh, my medication protocol has been called into Integrity Pharmacy, 200 of Gonalef and 100 of ACG. Is this considered a mini? It sounds like it. Um, can you explain PCO versus PCOS? So confused. No, they're the same. Those are the same. PCOO is just a short term for PCOS. Um, Mrs. Edwards, I have a unicorn uterus. Uh, any tips on preparing for IVF, acupuncture, serovital, all the normal stuff? Not sure if it was answered. I will be traveling from abroad. What are the blood tests? Yes, Love Life uh, 830. Go to our, uh, download our family building guide. They're all listed there. So they're on CNY Fertility resource page. This is for you, Love Life 830. Crystal, can you explain day three, day five, day six, and blastocysts and how they make the decision on when to stop growing them or pushing them further? No one makes a decision to stop growing embryos. Uh, you decide when you want to freeze them at day three, which is called the cleavage stage embryo, or blastocysts, which is five, six, or seven. Uh, so the difference between a day three and a, and a blastocyst is that the day three is like a caterpillar and the blastocyst is like a butterfly and we all want butterflies. So on day three, you don't know if that particular uh, caterpillar is gonna make a butterfly. So if you're younger, the advantage is to grow to day five. If you're older, it's better to put them in the uterus and let the body decide. Uh, can I transfer two embryos after my first fresh transfer fail to have my transfer this Thursday? Uh, it depends on how old you are, my dear. Uh, I had a myomectomy to remove uh, fibroids. This, they're back. I miscarried. Should I transfer again? No, no, no. Remove fibroids first. I'm doing a day three a fresh at 43. So are you saying to put in two embryos? I think that would be reasonable. What does the Zymot do? It's only been designed to separate sperm. There's never been a, a, the FDA approval for anything else. It's just a tool to separate sperm, but ICSI takes care of it for you. How do you know whether you shall do fresh or frozen? Well, if you look at your progesterone level and if it's above 1.5 uh, during the during stimulation phase, you're going to be doing a frozen embryo transfer. If it's below 1.5 and everything else is good, you can do a fresh. Um, uh, all things health. Uh, just set up a consult with me uh, anytime. Just set up a consult. Um, that's how we manage this information. Amy, I'm 41, low AMH, three failed IUI. I've tried fertility, acupuncture, mini IVF, IVF. Give up at my age? No, don't give up. Uh, you've only done... Oh. Oh, should you do mini? Um, yeah, I would do mini IVF if that's what you're asking. My doctor says my prolactin is 27. Is that an issue? If it's elevated, it can cause miscarriages. 
and also keep you from ovulating. So get your, it's easy to fix your prolactin levels with medications. Uh, are some fibers okay to leave in depending on the placement, Zena? Absolutely. If this is the uterus, if the fibroids outside the uterus, no worries. If the fibroids inside the uterus, definitely fix it. If it's between the walls of the uterus, then what you want to do is see how much it's pushing in. If it's not pushing in, leave it alone. But yes, Catherine, would you, you time a FET differently based on the expansion of the embryo? Nope. Uh, can you explain what progesterone injections help? Is it required? Yep. Progesterone is required for implantation. And if you do an IVF cycle, you have, you have poor progesterone production naturally. You definitely need supplementation based on all known literature in the area. Uh, Mrs. Bonner, Bonnie Jointer, if I have four fertilized eggs, should I do PGT? Nope. Just put them in, make a baby. That would be my recommendation. All righty. Lots of new people coming in and saying, hi. Well, hi, everybody. I only have about 10 minutes left. So I usually start at four o'clock, but you can come in earlier. Uh, so come in at four mountains time, mountain time. Happy to talk to you. How many time embryos do they transfer for first time IVF? Uh, usually one. Uh, all right. I'm so tired. I'm so sorry. Yes, I know. It's a, everybody give some support for all things health. She's feeling a little down. What would cause cramping after a natural? I thought you asked this already, Jenny. Um, uh, dehydration can cause cramping. Not taking your medicine. Sex can cause cramping, which we don't recommend. What kind of progesterone does someone take with progesterone dermatitis? I don't know what that is at all. Sorry, don't know what progesterone dermatitis is. Uh, what's the gentlest form can do this? Can't do this. Oh, injection, uh, progesterone and oil. Sorry, I understand. So you get dermatitis when someone gives, when you, when you get progesterone applied to the skin. Yeah, you could try it by pills or you could try it by um, injection. Pills probably better. Would you cancel a transfer if the lining is too thick or if estrogen is too high? And what would be considered too high? That's a very hard question. There's too many factors in that. I, I've, I don't think I've ever canceled for it being too thick. Um, how could chemotherapy affect fertility? It can remove the eggs. Uh, should I try IVF for the first time, Erica Lee? Well, first find out if your AMH is normal. Your AMH is, a, is an ovarian reserve marker. If your AMH is normal, then... Uh, gosh, get those eggs out. That means their eggs are there. Uh, does S, N, Y, and D have a negative impact on fertility when taken for cycle regulation? For I'm not sure what S, L, Y, and D is. Sorry. Um, if you have had both your tubes removed, can you still have ectopic implant in your removed tube scar tissue with IVF? Yes. Very rare. Very rare, uh, Christina, to get an ectopic in that circumstance. Hello, new people, caffeinated CNY, caffeinated CYN, sorry. Nini585, Lynn, unwritten, joined. Cassio, guys who are joining, I only have about uh, five more minutes. So um, I usually do this uh, Facebook Live at four o'clock. Oh, Jessica, haven't seen you in forever. Um, good to see you back, Jessica Reppenhagen. Uh, so the question is, does... Uh, progesterone only birth control pill have a negative impact on fertility? Never, never, um, because the mechanism doesn't work that way. It doesn't affect fertility. Uh, it prevents pregnancy, but it doesn't reduce your um, uh, chances of getting pregnant. Oh, I'm glad you're busy with your kids. I think that's great. How can you increase your progesterone? You can do that externally or exogenously orally, by creams, or by injections. Um, Erica, would you still recommend the keto diet for women who has issues with endometriosis and fibroids, considering they have issues with estrogen and there are hormones in meat? There are no hormones in the meat that I know of, Erica. That's an old theory about meat, which is not necessarily true today. You can always use grass-fed beef, or you can use uh, fish, or you can use shrimp, or you can use chicken, or you can use, you know. So, Keto just means ketones. In other words, avoiding sugars. That's really, Erica, what it means is avoiding sugars. 
What is nupogen used for? Well, historically, nupogen was is used not for fertility, of course. Uh, it's been used, uh, I've only found a few studies where it's been used to try to help to increase the uh, lining of the uterus. Uh, all things, I'm in UK, how do I plan this consultation with you, doctor? Well, simply uh, contact our 800 number and then we'll set up a time and then you call uh, the service and the service will patch you through. Happy to talk to you. Is vitamin E recommended for retrieval? I am taking a prenatal fish oil and CoQ10. It has nothing to do with the retrieval uh, facing destiny. It's, it has to do with health and wellness. Um, Jessica, always speak with the dietitian before changing your diet. This is Jessica's advice. Um, um, I don't ever recommend uh, speaking with a dietitian because they're very pro carbohydrates. Typically, there's very few. Uh, they're very much into the um, very much into the uh, U.S. Department of Agriculture's food pyramid. So no, I don't. I don't. I, I don't find that helpful. I would. I wouldn't do it that way. Um, do a little bit of reading on the low carb issues related to uh, health and wellness. That would be my recommendation. Could omnitrope cause cysts? Yes, uh, theoretically, omnitrope can cause cysts. Um, what milligrams of vitamin E do you recommend? I actually don't have that in my head. Take a look at our family building guide. It may be listed there. Um, but I think if you have a good prenatal, you should be okay. What are your suggestions on NMN? I'm not quite sure what NMN is, uh, Camille. A lot of times these initials go by and I'm not sure what they mean. Um, anybody know what NMN is? Uh, history issue. What is, I'm not sure what that is, Jessica, but it looks interesting. <laughs> NMN. Um, is that the NMN information? Uh, so Camille, uh, spell out what NMN is. I'm not sure what that is. Not a clue. <laughs> so let's see. Instagram doesn't have a clue what NMN is. Uh, the link to the family building guide. Thank you, Jessica. Thank you. You're so sweet. I really appreciate that. Uh, nicotinamide. Okay. Mononucleotide. Nicotinamide mononucleotide. So nicotinamide, I'm not, I, I would have to do a little bit of reading. Um, I haven't thought about that, so I'm not sure. What is the reason for lots of follicles, high E2 but low eggs retrieved, Operation Baby Human, uh, could be that they triggered sooner to save you from the ovarian hyperstimulation. Uh, it could be that the, the trigger shot wasn't at the right time. Uh, could be they could be empty follicles, lots of reasons. Um, uh, high E2 below uh, eggs retrieved. Give me an idea, Operation Baby Human, what your AMH is and your age. Um, thank you, uh, Jessica, as usual. Oh, and hey, folks, by the way, we're desperately in need of uh, nurses at our office. So if you know anybody uh, who wants to work at a phenomenal clinic here in, in Colorado Springs, um, uh, full-time nursing positions. I think we need at least two more nurses, a medical assistant, two front desks. We are simply growing. So if anybody, um, you know, knows of a nurse um, who's moving into the area, who's in the area, who wants to get out of the hospitals, who likes working with women, please uh, contact uh, us, uh, Adrian, uh, at my office, um, and sh and we'll hook you up. Um, the best clinic. <laughs> Thank you. So Operation Baby, you're 38 with an AMH of 2.3, and this is your first retrieval. So um, I would do another retrieval. I would have one of our docs review your, your, your protocol. I would add growth hormone. I would do serovital. I would do acupuncture. Um, how many days after cycle day one of menstrual cycle do you do a retrieval? It's approximately 14 days, more or less, Angela. Nicotinamide mononucleotide. I'd have to do some thinking about that. A remote RN position in the future and I'm your girl. A remote RN position in the future and I'm your girl. Uh, and a remote RN position in the future and I'm your girl. Oh, you want to do you want to do the global? Ah ha ha. That's great. I caffeinated. I see. I see. I see. You want to be one of yeah. We definitely need our um, our. Uh, 
global travel team. Um, yes. So contact us, man. Uh, anyone who wants a job. How many days after cycle they went? Oh, answered that already. Okay. It looks like I'm uh, getting close to running out of time here. Um, any other questions that you may have? Hello, Pam, uh, Ferrier style. I start at four o'clock, uh, Colorado time. Are there any risks from a hysteroscopy polypectomy? Well, no risk benefits, I think. I mean, of course, every surgery has a risk of bleeding, infection, injury, and a risk of anesthesia, but uh, it's very low usually with hysteroscopy. Um, <laughs> thanks, caffeinated. Um, okay. So again, um, Dr. Magarelli, CNY Fertility, Colorado, Colorado Springs. Um, best thing you can do after a transfer or the week after is Avoiding alcohol, tobacco, drugs, take your medications, do your acupuncture, keep yourself well hydrated. I did prime with omitrophin, empty follicles happened twice. This may be a, an ovary issue, I can't say for sure. Um, so again, I, if you guys don't mind, uh, Dr. Credenda and Dr. King at East Winds Acupuncture are up for the running for Best of the Springs. You can go to the website, thebestofthesprings.com and vote for them, East Twins Acupuncture Under Family and Health. Voting ends on February 13th. Uh, we'd love for them to win and represent for them and represent Colorado and represent Colorado Springs. Um, I really appreciate your guys' questions. My AMH was 5.3. Metformin always needed in the protocol. No caffeinated. The best thing for elevated um, uh, AMHs in that specific situation is low carb eating. A COVID test required before egg retrieval. That was told no one, but someone else told me that's not right. In uh, in um, in New York, you must get the COVID test. In Colorado, no. All right, you. Uh, but we do recommend the vaccine. We a hundred percent recommend it for women who are trying to get pregnant, women who are pregnant, women who are breastfeeding, husbands. Definitely recommend it. Well, thanks, everybody, for a fantastic, fun-filled evening. I hope I was helpful. Um, we really appreciate all of you. Um, I think someone asked us to be more empathetic, and we, we try to be as empathetic as we can. Um, our goal is to get one healthy baby and one healthy couple. Uh, we want you guys to feel uh, valued. Um, Mar Mariset, is it okay to start IVF without priming? Yes. The journey through IVF, I love you too. <laughs> Thank you for that. Thanks, everybody. Send kisses. I love kisses. Uh, everybody who's joined late, uh, just make sure you come at 4 o'clock Mountain Time is when I start these. It's on our CNY Fertility uh, Facebook page. It tells you all the times. Um, I'm going to do something next week. Um, it's going to be a lecture next week. So everybody, it's Facebook and YouTube is the lecture. We can't do lectures on Instagram. I mean, you can hear me, but you can't see the slides. Um, again, please vote for uh, the Best of Springs, um, East Winds Acupuncture. They're the ones who will help you, absolutely help you when you come to Colorado. And they're a wonderful organization. So thanks, everybody. Have a wonderful evening. I look forward to seeing you when you come to visit. Uh, thanks to all the team out there. and. You're the best, folks. Um, have pregnant thoughts. Okay, guys?